Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Well, here's a little update on Bronco. Working on the uh, front uh, pivot point. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I just finished welding the bushings in, made them on the lathe. And I got this is uh, all solid stock. It's made out of, uh, I'm sure what I have here. By the way, got this Lennox blade for the, made by Lennox for this bandsaw, and it cuts like cuts like butter it's awesome I love it works really good so the problem 10 different topic but um, I had problems with this bandsaw and the uh, uh, the blades I were getting were just crap you know the new blades and it just it's bang on perfect so this is the stuff I've been using I think it's like an inch and a half or something inch and a quarter solid stock and it bore it out with the uh, on the lathe make my bushings I wish I had that lathe uh, well, I had a lathe before, but it was a piece of shit. I had to send it back, but... Anyways, it's really handy for making bushings and so forth. This kind of stuff. And there's bushing there, and there's bushing down there. So it's all welded in now, so it's going to be good and strong. A three-quarter inch pin, which is plenty for this little tractor. And now I'm going to make my clevises. Actually, I put a piece in here too, which I got over here. Still have to do there's another piece to put on top here to make it extra strong. Just have to do a little more fitting on there. Looking hot. Just gonna go on there. Like so. Might have a bit of a might be just a little bit off on the center there, but it is the way it is. So anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be welding this on here tomorrow. Oops, sorry, I'm the way. Got this here, this piece here, I'll be welding that on tomorrow. And uh, so the pin goes up and down through there nicely. And then I'm going to be making my clevis similar to a caterpillar or whatever. And I'll be making it, clevis goes over this side and over this here. And I'll be making a plate here. Then I can weld that plate to the front of Bronco. Or on the back side of the front half so then it'll pivot and a nice strong pivot in here it'd be good to go so that's the focus right now is making the pivot point making it get it nice and perfect so anyways I thought I'd give you guys an update I mean you buy these little lathes little lathe machine and it's a pretty handy thing to have it could be a small one and just know how to use it and it'd be a very handy thing to have so next I have to get a better MIG welder so but it is what it is so anyways just a little short little update on this uh, had to hack the crap out of this old steering system on there gotta clean that up weld it in and clean up and make it look pretty and this is a way better system and I should have been thinking about that uh, so anyways just stuff 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 I'm gonna be going with uh, probably two cylinders two hydraulic cylinders uh, similar to a, a cat articulating, you know, our, you know, big cat loader. So be one here, probably one on this side. So or whatever, maybe just one on this side. We'll see. Anyways, almost like a backhoe sort of. <laughs> so, already, uh, yeah, let's post up a little video on that pivot point on the front. Probably working on this Bronco here, getting the pivot point here set up properly. The way it should have been done from the beginning, but you know, I had these stupid ideas, and these are this is far better system. So, going back to the basics, baby. Alrighty, thanks, thanks for watching. More coming up soon. See ya.